Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill. And on this channel, we talk about celebrities, plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty, makeup, and celebrity products. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe. So today's video is about celebrities who look better at the age of 40 and beyond than they did at 20. So I got the idea for this video after thinking about how youth obsessed we are here in the US and maybe where you live too if you don't live in the US. And I thought, you know what, there's definitely celebrities and people I know who look better older. I do want to mention that it's not always because of plastic surgery that celebrities look better older. Some truly just grew into their looks and happened to also get plastic surgery. So while we're going through the list of these celebrities and you're thinking, well, of course they look better because they got plastic surgery, keep in mind that I kind of consider their plastic surgery already and decided that it's not just plastic surgery that's responsible for them looking better older. And what about you guys? Are any of you thinking, hmm, I think I look better older too? Let me know down below in the comments. So I'll show you two photos, one from when these celebrities were in their 20s, and then one from when they were 40 and beyond. Now, some of these celebrities are older than 40 now. They're like in their 50s and 60s. But what I'm basically doing is I'm considering them at the age of 40 or in their 40s. Most of these celebrities come from your suggestions that you gave me in the community tab. The first celebrity you all suggested was Shakira. Now here's Shakira at 20 years old and completely different looking than what she looks like at 40 and beyond and I believe she's 46 now. Now let's take a look at Shakira at 40 years old. And wow, okay first of all she's transformed her hair. I'm noticing that she's really leaning into her natural curly hair and she's gone to this dark blonde locks sort of look and it looks amazing with her skin tone and it really goes well with her friendly brown eyes. She's got an approachable but sexy look to her at 40 and beyond. I also think there was something about Shakira when she was younger that came off as kind of, she had a vibe of please accept me, please think I'm worthy that she no longer has in her 40s and beyond. In her 40s, she's got this self-assured, sexy, confident vibe going on, and I'm here for it, I love it. So definitely, Shakira looks better at 40 than she did at 20. You know, she might've gotten this look before 40, but I think it's really interesting and amazing to see people who look better at 40 than they did at 20, because we're taught that as we age, we get worse. I haven't noticed that to be true with people who take care of themselves. So I wanna give you all hope. A lot of my audience is between 18 and 34. I think a lot of you are scared of aging. Don't be, you could look great. You can even look better as you age. And Shakira is such a great example of this. Moving on to your suggestion of Kourtney Kardashian, who's 44. Let's look at her at 20. The first thing I noticed with Kourtney in her 20s is how approachable and wholesome she looks. She doesn't have her style or her look yet. She's got gorgeous big eyes and a beautiful, bright, and big smile. We see kind of a generic makeup look, one that isn't yet her own. You could tell she's following trends. And you see that gorgeous golden complexion that so many of the Kardashians have that I completely envy about them. I love how easily they can tan. Let's take a look at Kourtney in her 40s. First thing I noticed about Kourtney is how striking her eyes are. I didn't see this eye look so much in her 20s. I feel like in her 20s, her eyes looked friendlier, but in her 40s, her eyes look upswept and striking. Now, this is likely the result, of having some type of surgery that up tilted her eye corners. Now, moving on to the rest of Courtney's face, I noticed that she's really began to work on her skin. You could tell that within the last two decades, Courtney's really had to work on her skin. It's impeccably smooth. It's better than when she was in her 20s. This is likely due to her daily use of really high quality skincare products, as well as likely having treatments like laser treatments that are okay to have done on a darker toned complexion. I also think that Courtney's developed her look more. I feel like I see a more put together makeup look on Courtney. I like that she doesn't look like every girl anymore. You could completely distinguish her from her sisters now. In her 40s, Courtney is truly a standout. I think she looks better in her 40s than in her 20s. 
And again, some of that could be plastic surgery, but a lot of that also can be aging and just losing the facial fat that we lose in our 20s, in our late 20s. And I'm not talking about buckle fat. I'm talking about the facial fat we lose throughout our face in our late 20s going into our 30s. Now let's do a quick break because we do have a sponsor for this video, Sleep and Glow. This is by far your most favorite product, you guys. Make sure you watch this because I don't want 100 DMs years later asking me what was that pillow I talked about that was great for anti-aging. Did you know that your average pillow causes you to get intense sleep wrinkles on your eyes, your forehead, especially your nasal labial folds and throughout your face? If you think about it, we get about eight hours of sleep a night. That comes out to 56 hours a week that your face is compressed on a regular pillow. Imagine compressing one part of your body for 56 hours a week and expecting there to be no harmful effects. That would be crazy, right? Well, that's basically what you're doing when you sleep on a regular pillow. But luckily, there's a solution. This little beauty, the Sleep and Glow Pillow. Now, the Sleep and Glow Pillow is genius technology because look, if you sleep on the right side of it, which is this side, the smaller hump side, if you will, your face is suspended in between this little beautiful valley of sorts, leaving this whole area of your face untouched and unsmushed by a pillow. And it's comfortable. You guys, this is a memory foam pillow. And what they've done is they've combined the amazing health and beauty effects of a silk pillowcase with their genius technology of not smashing your face into itself. Sleeping on a silk pillowcase is so good for your hair as well as your skin. It keeps your nighttime skin routine on your face instead of spread across a cotton pillowcase. And for those of you who say, well, it's uncomfortable to sleep on a silk pillowcase because it moves around. Don't worry, this one isn't. Look how tightly it sits on the pillow. And when you undo the zipper for easy cleaning, it reveals a high quality memory foam pillow underneath. And the memory foam is so comfortable, it reacts to the heat of your body and keeps you cool, as well as conforming to the shape of your head, keeping you comfortable throughout the night. For those of you scared that you won't like the pillow, don't be worried. Sleep and Glow gives you a 30-day sleep trial money-back guarantee. They also offer a three-year warranty from the date of purchase on their pillows. So if you're ready to get rid of the easiest wrinkles to get rid of that don't even require injections, then give the Sleep and Glow pillow a try. And Sleep and Glow also makes a sleep bra for you side sleepers. When you sleep on your side, you're actually compressing your chest skin right here and creating folds, which later you'll see as lines. This sleep bra that they make is designed to go in between your breasts to support that delicate chest skin to stop it from creating folds. And look how pretty it is. This is like a gorgeous lace pillow, very soft. Click the link down below my description box and put in Lori20 to get $20 off a pillow or a blanket or Put in code Lori10 for 10% off of all other purchases. So if you've been eyeing that bra, now might be the time. Thank you so much to Sleep and Glow for sponsoring this video and a big thank you to all of you who support my sponsors. Next, you all surprised me with your suggestion of Candace Cameron Bure. I hope I'm saying her last name right. Now remember, we on this channel do not discriminate against who we talk about, whether they're very, very liberal or very, very conservative. We are just talking about their looks. Now here's Candace in her 20s. What I notice about her is her eyes. Her eyes seem to be almost bulging. It could be something similar to like a Graves disease, which is a thyroid condition where your eyes do bulge out a bit, but I notice it a lot in her youth. I see a very full cheek look, one that really obstructs her bone structure. In Candace, I see a very cute 20 year old. The type of looks that come from youth, not the type of looks that come from having amazing genetics. So let's look at her in her 40s. And Candace is currently 47 years old. And wow, okay, you guys were right. I don't know that she's had any plastic surgery. I've never analyzed her, but this is a stunning woman in her 40s. I love her eyes, they're no longer bulging. And this is something you may notice in people is that people with bulging eyes in their youth 
as we get older, our eyes sort of sink back into our head. I know that sounds disgusting, but it's true. So you get more of a sunken eye look as you age. What tends to happen with people who have naturally bulging eyes is that sinking back effect benefits them. And I see this in Candace. Her eyes now look well placed. They no longer bulge out. Of course, she may have also had orbital decompression where they push the eyes into the head so that they don't bulge out. But regardless, I love her eye placement now. I love how she's styling her brows. We really see that that facial fat has dissipated to her benefit, revealing this strong bone structure. I see great structure to her jaw and to her cheeks. Look at those cheekbones. They're stunning. Okay, guys, well, you're doing really good. You're three for three so far with your suggestions. Moving on to your next suggestion, I have Halle Berry. You guys, I cannot imagine a world in which Halle Berry was not gorgeous from the moment she was born till now, basically. So let's take a look at her at 20 years old. Wow. Okay, so she was stunning then too. And let's side by side that with her in her 40s. And what I see different is the lack of facial fat to her face. For some people who have great underlying bone structure, when you lose the facial fat or the majority of the facial fat that covers your cheekbones, like Hallie did, it will reveal this beautiful bone structure. Most notably in Hallie's 20s, her cheeks were very large, but in a very proportional way. So this one I'm torn on. I think she looks sexier in her 40s and beyond. If I were to choose which one I'd want to look like, I would say I'd want to look like Hallie in her 40s and later. But for people who want to look very, very youthful, I could see you thinking she looked better in her 20s. I just think it's a draw. I think she just looks amazing in both, which is quite an amazing thing to look beautiful, whether you're young or what people consider older. And I do think Hallie's had some plastic surgery. We talked about it in this video on Halle Berry. But... I don't think the plastic surgery was to beautify her. I think it was done for other reasons. And make sure to watch my video to know more about that. But I do notice that her nose has changed, but that foundational bone structure that she was just born with, born lucky with, is there. And it's more revealed once she's past 40 years old. Next up, I have Emily Blunt. Okay, so a quick word about Emily. I do think she's had a significant amount of plastic surgery, and I will be doing an analysis video on her in the next couple weeks. Let's take a look at Emily at around 20 years old. Okay, so at 20 years old, I see Emily. She's definitely not unattractive. She's a pretty girl. She has a hair color that's kind of non-distinct. There's something not vibing with this hair color and her skin. Her eyes are also less striking. They look soft and undefined. I do notice kind of an every woman appeal to her face. She's definitely not unattractive, but she has not yet become that striking actress headlining movies that we see today. And Emily has just turned 40 years old, so let's take a look at her at 40. And what I see is that her hair color now is better meshed with her skin color. I still would prefer a darker look for Emily and perhaps she's gone back and forth. Maybe this truly is her natural color, but I think this hair color that's more highlighted and less stark blonde is much more appealing on her. Moving on to her eyes. Her eyes have now gained that striking look to them, that unforgettable I remember you in a crowd look. So I'm kind of loving her look now. Her skin is impeccable. This is not the skin I saw on her in her 20s. She's likely really done a lot of work on her skin through everyday applications of skincare, which is so important. The things you do daily to your skin add up. I also think she has enough money to get procedures like laser procedures and facials. So I think she's really taken extra care to her skin. We see that poreless look that is very hard to achieve, but can be done. Not that you'd actually get rid of your pores, but that it can be done to look like you have smaller pores. If I were to choose which Emily is more memorable, which one is the actress that is starring in films, it's hands down the Emily that is 40 years old today. She looks better at 40 than she did at 20. 
Moving on, we have Elizabeth Hurley, another one of your suggestions. Here's Elizabeth around 20 years old. I see a very pretty girl. I see dark, heavy brows that are kind of overtaking her eyes. I see a balanced face. I really do see a beautiful face. Her skin is gorgeous. Now, it looks like Elizabeth has definitely worked on both her style, her skin, and her teeth since her 20s. Now, I do think she's had the help of some plastic surgery. In my opinion, I think she's had plastic surgery. But there's something more developed about her look in her 40s, more confident, more sexy, at least to my eye. If you're someone who's not very age-oriented or youth-obsessed, I think you may agree that she looks better in her 40s and beyond. And the fact that she looks like this at 58 years old cannot be put down to just plastic surgery. This woman works out, works on her skin, works on her overall looks, as well as her diet and her lifestyle to be able to look like this at 58. She looks amazing. Moving on to another one of your suggestions, Sandra Bullock. Here's Sandra at 20 years old. Oh, wow. You know, I wasn't expecting her to look like this. I mean, obviously she has a beautiful face, but this is not the face I would look at in a crowd and think that one's gonna be a movie star, right? It's kind of a baby face that's still very underdeveloped or just hasn't come into its own. I see great bone structure, but I don't see that kind of je ne sais quoi that you look for in a leading lady. Let's take a look at her at 40. And at 40 years old, I see what I was probably looking for when she was in her 20s. I was looking for more femininity to her face because she has such strong bone structure and jaw structure that she needs femininity to the rest of her features and she's gained it by the time she's in her 40s. I see beautiful eyes. I see that she's doing her makeup really well or someone's doing her makeup for her very well. And I see a softness to her face that I didn't see when she was 20. I think that there has been plastic surgery, but I think there's an element of growing up and growing into this femininity that she gained also. So yeah, I think she looks better in her 40s than at 20. Let's go to Jennifer Beals. Oh my gosh, what a cutie she was in her 20s. She she's just so cute i mean she's just super cute no hint yet of that confidence and beautiful look that she gains later i became familiar with jennifer beals kind of later on i just thought wow this woman is beautiful like who is she flash dance really wasn't my generation so to see her here in her 20s it's like how did this 20 year old girl grow into this woman i mean she she looks better in her 40s. I don't know how else to put it. See more definition to her features. I love the maturity in her eyes. I love how they've kind of gained this knowing look to them. But even just completely aesthetically, I think she looks better in her 40s. And moving on, we have Queen Latifah. I listened to her music when I was, I believe, in high school and beyond. Here she is at 20. She looks cute. She looks like she's trying to blend in with the male rappers, which you kind of had to do back in the day. I mean, she really had to blaze her own trail in a way because there just weren't a lot of female rappers. I mean, her, Lil' Kim, I think they were like the trailblazers. And so I think she kind of needed to blend in with the men. So I think that's why we see her looking more on the masculine side, actually. But still, you see those pretty features that she was probably trying to hide. Um, you see nice lips. You see nice eyes. Let's look at her at 40 and beyond. She's stunning. I mean, she's just gorgeous. I love her cheekbones. I love her eyes. I love her complete style overhaul. She looks feminine and just strong at the same time. She 100% looks better, older, and gosh, that skin is to die for. I think she looks happy, healthy, and she is beautiful, beautiful in her 40s. Next, we have JLo. Oh yeah, I remember the JLo of her 20s. Okay, this is her, I believe this is her coming out of her fly girl era. You know, I always noticed her as a fly girl because she just had that beautiful face. Her face was a bit more natural here. I think here we're seeing a more natural JLo. I think she looks so sweet and pretty. She was just really gorgeous. And let's look at her at 40. Ooh, wow. 
she looks hot at 40. I mean, I don't, I think she would compete with her younger self and win. Again, I see a confident and sexy vibe that I see in so many women who look better in their 40s. And she's just rocking that self-assured look. I love her eyes. I love what she's done with her styling. Yes, she's had plastic surgery and I've done a video on it, but this is more than plastic surgery. This is some kind of a lived life experience look that she has. I love that we could see more structure because she's lost some of the fat around her eyes. She does, she looks better in her 40s. I think for JLo, the aging has been on her side. Even looking past her having had plastic surgery, I think she would have looked better in her 40s regardless of any surgery that she's had. She's one of those people who looks better as they age into their looks. Now we have two men. We have Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Ryan Reynolds. The reason I'm only doing two men is because the rhetoric in our society is that men all look better older and I have to say I don't agree with that. I think, yeah, some men look better older, but I don't agree with it across the board. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. I think this is just something we've gotten used to hearing, so we've adopted it as truth. But if you really look around and look at men who are older, it's not necessarily so that they look better older than they did younger. And a lot of it depends on how well a man takes care of himself. I feel like we're given the messaging that men look better older regardless of how well they take care of themselves. And you guys, that is not the case. I don't have a bias against older men, but I do think that it's not true across the board that older men always look better than their younger selves. Let's look at The Rock first. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. You guys. You guys. Okay, you guys. He looks like a big giant teddy bear. I feel like he would be some girl's really great best friend. He has a great balanced face. He's symmetrical and you could see the burgeoning good looks that come up later, but holy hell, he looks different in his 20s. He has a very pretty face, do you know what I mean? But it's not that masculinity that you just want to grab you and, and Here he is at 40, let's see. And like, I mean, he's just gorgeous. Like his face is gorgeous in his 40s. He's lost the baby fat. You know, this is another reason why generalities just don't work across the board because now he's bald and like he looks better bald. He's lost that little mustache. What is that called? He lost it, that's good. He has that great face. It's not exactly the face he had in his 20s. Kind of more rugged and I think that suits him better. And you know, his skin looks great. He's taken amazing care of himself. He looks better in his 40s, you guys. Come on, you have to admit, he looks better in his 40s. Moving on to Ryan Reynolds. Here's Ryan in his 20s and it says, Ryan Reynolds remembers his awkward 20s. Really, that's awkward? I don't know. I feel like he looked really good. He said, I recently saw a picture from when I was just a pup, maybe 20 or 21, and I looked pretty bad. Yeah, I can see what he's talking about. I think, yeah, I think Ryan really needed to grow into his face. And you really could look at him and think, oh, I don't know. I don't know how he's going to turn out. He's very cute boy next door cute, just not sexy leading man cute. Let's look at him at 40. So currently Ryan's 46. And yeah, he looks better in his 40s for sure. Something really clicked for him. I see better bone structure. I see a better jawline. And I see more confidence and self-assurance. And it's, it's, it's hot. And I don't know that he's had surgery. I could possibly in the future look at him for an analysis. You guys nailed this. Thank you so much for your suggestions. You surprised me. And I hope though that this video gives you hope that it's not all about your youth. There's just so much more. We're not all gonna be in our 20s forever. And then what are you gonna do? You need to be happy with your life regardless of your age, right? Just try to look the best you can at every age. And I think aging is a privilege and we have to remember that, you know? Remember, please support my sponsor, Sleep and Glow. Click the link down below in my description box to go get your own Sleep and Glow pillow. Up next, I've linked my own skin routine video. I've also linked my celebrity plastic surgery playlist. 
please go watch both of them when you have a chance. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Love you all. Bye. Bye. <laughs>